All right, let's get started. Uh, first, we're going to go ahead and grab some selections from our normal map. Uh, this is going to be making a selection map and or a selection map that we're going to be using for our ambient inclusion. Uh, this normal map was created right uh, straight from Endu uh, in Photoshop, so we have no rendering for AO to go off of. Uh, so right now, I'm just selecting a few pieces, filling with white, and probably end up filling with grays and other things just to go along and uh, start creating an ambient occlusion for it. So we're going to select this top piece here. And uh, fill that with black minus the holes. And this is also going to help on setting up our colors uh, in the end of the, or in the next step of the video. And some of these parts we're going to have to select manually. We're not going to be able to use the magic wand just because of the color transitions between the normals, uh, but it's alright because then we can just easily duplicate them like that. And so we just merge down and, and flip over to adjust the sides and clip off. This, this map isn't completely even, so we're going to have to do some manual adjusting. Alright, so now that we got those side pieces done, uh, we'll go ahead and just adjust them to make sure they cover complete. Uh, flat normal. Should just be the top and bottom ones that are a little bit different. So now we can just select the inside of those, uh, of the black area that we filled in earlier because it is empty and we can just fill that with white. Let's make a drag selection and we want to grab that outside part of the normal minus the black area uh, so we can have Somewhat of a grid. Oh, let me just move on to something different. Um, Alright, these squares. I'm just going to color these a little bit differently, just so they can you know, stand out from the white. And we'll just copy those over and merge down and copy down. And again, adjusting, just making sure that the flat normals are covered. And it's off by a pixel. Let's go ahead and start with these thin strips on the sides. Uh, we'll fill these with white and then slowly change it down to a dark gray. Move it over. And we should have about one or two pixels in between. I think the top and bottom ones maybe have two pixels. Uh, the side to side ones have maybe one pixel in between, but we'll have to adjust that. Way. Yeah, they are different since when I have to manually drag select as opposed to copy. Let's just take that down so it matches. Merge and duplicate down. And it doesn't seem to fit, so we'll try flipping it 180 degrees. And it still doesn't fit, so it still has to be manually adjusted. So, you know, it is a little bit tedious to do this, but you want to get as accurate as possible. And like I said, it will help uh, with making selections and everything. Alright, so now we have the selections done, let's start with the ambient occlusion. And we're just going to fill it with a basic white. And we're first going to select the areas that are completely recessed and start to change them to a little bit of gray. Uh, this, the, they don't seem to be going too deep, uh, so that's why I only toned it down to about minus 20. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just grabbing every every area that's completely precise. And these ones will be a little, a little bit darker. And I don't think I'm going to be too precise with those ones. I'm going to try to select the holes here. So what I did here is I basically selected the inside, inverted the selection, and just cropped out just to get that 
little area that falls off between the top and the recessed area. And I tone that down to about negative 10 or 15. Same with these sides here. Anything that's falling off isn't going to have as much darkness as everything else, but it will have something. Again here, I'm just try, um, selecting these squares back here. I'm going to get the inverse of just the normals that are falling off and tone those down to about 10 or 15 as well. So now what I'm going to do is on a new layer, I'm going to create a stroke, basically showing where the, the two points meet of the recession. And I'm going to do that for most of the recessed layers first, or most of the recessed areas first on one layer. Um, the stroke's about two pixels, and you can see that sometimes you know, it gets a little bit tight, like there on the top. Um, but I'll, I'll still stick with two pixels. It should be good for now. And we're going to come in, and these we're going to blur separately on a different layer because we don't want to uh, have anything going outside of those holes for that. And this part right here, I believe I made a mistake. Uh, the, the gray area was supposed to get the stroke with the blur on it, not the area that I just did blur. Uh, I'll realize that in a few seconds. Let's go back and we'll add that stroke again. I don't know what happened to it, but we'll add the stroke to the gray area and blur it. And it's a little too much, so I want to dial that back a bit so you actually have a, a gradient there. That looks better. And we're going to go ahead and select these squares on the outside. And we're going to do a stroke on the outside. And then we're going to invert our selection and then blur it from there. Grab these little parts here. They're pretty annoying. I think I just go with whatever the selection gives me. I don't care too much about refining it because there is a fall off that I didn't, uh, and I didn't adjust in the color, so it's completely white. A little bit of a extra black will do. That's fine. And for the most part, I think that's pretty much it for the anime inclusion. I'm gonna go ahead and save this out. Just load it into Unreal real quick to see if it uh, looks alright. So, yeah, it looks kind of good. The normals are a little bit strong, so it kind of makes it hard to see, but I'll, I'll test it out with a, a regular parameter here. Just a solid color, and it looks good. Yeah, that works. Let's merge all these. Ambient occlusion. Make our layers real easy to use. And uh, yeah, that's it. We'll move on to texture.